Hey guys, welcome to Led by God Ministry. This is your girl, Hannah. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I have a word for you guys today. No one wants to go through the fire, okay? No one wants to go through the fire. Heavenly Father, we glorify you, we honor you, we praise you, we, will, we lift you up, we bless you, we bless your holy name. O Abba, Father, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Israel. Thank you so much for sending your son, Yeshua. Thank you so much. May you receive all of the glory, all the honor, all the praise, all the worship. Dear Heavenly Father, you are the great I am, the God that created the heavens and the earth and everything and every living creature we thank you so much and we thank you so much for this day so i want to say good morning good afternoon good evening to those that are receiving their morning afternoon and evening wherever time it is wherever you are thank you guys so much and welcome to led by god ministries no one wants to go through the fire okay no one wants to go through the very thing that will cause your faith to be strong in the Lord. But we are willing to receive his glory, receive his anointing, receive his gifts, receive the light. But no one wants to go through the fire in order for the diamond to surface. But if we can get it the easy way, that would be so much better. What about the testing of the flesh in the time of those very weak areas? God will test us and the devil will tempt us. God will test us to see what we will do. The devil will tempt us to see what we will pick. The devil also tempts us to kill us. Remember, he is here to kill, steal, and destroy. If we can remember that, we would make better choices and, and decisions. Remember how Abraham was tested with the very thing he asked God for and loved so much, his son Isaac. He was tested by God, by God to go sacrifice his son. He went to go do it. Look at Yeshua and how many times he was tempted by the devil. Our Lord and Savior was tempted by the devil. Go back to Abraham when he was tested for the very thing that he loved so much. The covenant, the promise that God gave to him that he will bear a son. God tested him to see how, who comes first, his son or God. And he showed God, you come first. Yeshua was tempted by the devil in the wilderness to see if he would bow down. He, the devil didn't, the devil wanted to try to take Yeshua out. Jump, he told him. Turn the stone into bread. Bow down to me, worship me, and I'll give you all of this. But Yeshua would not go with what the devil asked him for. You can't steal the light. You can't steal the anointing. You can't steal the gift or gifts. You can't steal his glory. These very things have to come from the heavenly father, Abba. He will anoint who he will anoint. He will gift who he will gift. He will light up who he wants to light up. So you're feeling some type of way because someone else is gifted, because someone else is anointed, because someone else's light is so bright. But you have but have you ever stopped, excuse me, I'm reading my words, okay, what I wrote down from the word. But have you ever stopped to think about what that very person that you dislike or hate, 
has gone through. No, you just see the happiness, the joy, the peace, the anointing, the gifts, the light, but you never stop to hear their story. You have to allow God to break you down, to build you up. You have to allow God to break you down, to build you up and make you. Remember, he is the potter. We are the clay. He is molding you so that you will be strong in those times of testing and those times of temptation so that you can do his will here on earth so he can use you. We all have a job to do here on earth. I keep saying this. We need to fast. Go in that secret place and meet him there. Wait on him. We are all accountable for having an intimate relationship with the God, with God, Yeshua, Holy Spirit. They are one. And let me refer, let me say that again. We are all accountable for having an intimate relationship with God, Yeshua, Holy Spirit. And I say it all like that because they are one. Don't let it be too late because our time is short. Yeshua is coming back. Get your house in order. Get your house in order order yeshua is coming back every knee must bow every tongue must confess and every hand must be raised and praised to welcome the lord yeshua our god our holy one Oopa. hallelujah thank you father I pray that you guys receive this word. I pray that you pray on the word to see if it is your word. Because a lot of us, we're not happy for others. And we don't know what others have gone through to become anointed, become, to, to be gifted, to, um, to receive the light that God gives to us. Okay, we all have lights, but some are dimmer than others. And some are dark and completely out because of the lifestyle that we live and the, the way we live is against what God has ordered for us. We went the opposite way. So he's just calling you to come back so you'll be lit right back up. But you can't hate on the person that allowed the diamond to come out in the furnace of the fire. To allow the gold to come out. Because you got to burn it. It's all got to be burnt down. In order for it to flourish and shine. Don't hate on somebody else's story. Especially if you haven't heard it. Don't hate on the next person. Because you don't know why they're joyful. You don't know why they're happy. You don't know why they became anointed. You don't know why God did what he did with them. Don't go judging the book by its cover without knowing the story on the inside by opening the book to read it or letting them tell their story. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Look at yourselves, reevaluate yourself and ask yourself why you hate someone so much. You probably won't even have an answer for it because you don't know why. But you just have that hate that God does not want you to have in your heart. You need to go ask for forgiveness, repent, change your ways and let God burn you so the diamond that's in you can surface. So the light that's in you can surface. Sit on the plate so the potter can start to mold and shape you. 
I love you guys. God bless you guys. But know your heavenly father that created you loves you so much more with unconditional love. He just wants you to come back. I love you. God bless you. Bye.